This is Lewis Gins III with the Cookbook Chronicles. Today we're going to be reviewing another recipe from uh, Ryan Boudreaux's book, uh, The Best of New Orleans Cookbook, 50 Classic Cajun and Creole Recipes from the Big Easy. This is going to be his shrimp and grits recipe. It is a modern classic, the, you know, uh, across the United States, especially in the Gulf Coast, and we're going to uh, share this recipe with you. So come on along and let's get cooking. Today's ingredients, we have a couple of substitutions, but let's just go ahead and start with four cups of chicken stock. And the recipe calls for one cup of five minute grits. We're going to be using Quaker old fashioned grits. The recipe also calls for eight ounces of Charlesburg or Swiss cheese, shredded and divided. We're going to be using Swiss cheese. Four tablespoons of unsalted butter, three quarter cup of chopped green onions, eight ounces of button mushrooms, four cloves of garlic, half cup of white wine, and here is another substitution. The recipe calls for two pounds of uh, peeled and divine shrimp, 21 to 30 count. We're actually going to be using medium cooked shrimp, tail 50 to 70, and one teaspoon of Cajun seasonings. All right, so in a large saucepan over high heat, we're going to bring the chicken stock to a boil, and then we're going to slowly stir in the grits and return to a boil. We're going to turn the heat down to low and cook for about five to seven minutes, stirring occasionally. And then after that, we're going to stir in the cheese. Okay, so let's go ahead and stir in the grits. And then gonna return those to a boil. And all we're doing is just cooking grits the same way that you would at home, nothing special. Stir in the grits there. Now the cooking time is gonna be a little bit adjusted, a little bit longer for me in this recipe because we're using old fashioned grits and not quick grits. But the um, idea is still the same. I'm gonna bring that to a boil. And we're gonna uh, let that boil until it's reduced down. And then after go that, we'll go ahead and stir in the uh, cheese. Okay, so while the grits are cooking, we're going to go ahead and heat up a large skillet um, and we're going to saute in some butter the green onions, mushrooms, and garlic. So let's go ahead and do that. That is the butter. I'm going to let that melt. Okay, it's time to bring these grits down here from a rapid boil to a slow boil. Okay, so the grits have gotten to the point where we're ready to add the cheese, but for right now, we're going to go ahead and add in the green onions here since our butter is heated up garlic and mushrooms Going to let those saute for a little bit. Okay, and now we're ready to go ahead and add half our cheese.
Okay, so Swiss cheese is going in. To the grits. All right, so um, we've got our grits covered and simmering on low. Uh, we've got the green onions, mushrooms, and garlic. And we're cooking these for about four minutes, stirring occasionally until the uh, mushrooms are soft. And then after that, we're going to uh, add the wine and allow it to reduce for about two minutes. And we've come to that point here where the mushrooms are nice and soft. And then we're going to go ahead and add in our wine. Basically creating a sauce. You got any sticky bits or fond at the bottom of the pan, then you're just going to take your spoon and pick up those and rub those out into the sauce. It's going to just add a really nice element to this sauce here. Okay, so now we're going to bring that up to a simmer. And we're just going to let that reduce for about two minutes. Shrimp is pre-cooked. Uh, we won't have to keep it in the pan very long. So with your recipe, well, with if you're following the recipe exactly, then you're going to make sure to uh, cook the shrimp until opaque and cook complete. But for me, since these are already pre-cooked, we're just going to make sure that they're heated up, um, covered completely uh, in the sauce and uh, they're gonna they're they're gonna be nice and soft. We don't want to overcook these to where they're hard. We want the shrimp to be soft. They're cooked, but they're gonna be soft. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and get in. Okay. So we've stirred in our shrimp. We're gonna go ahead and add our Cajun seasonings. And we're going to cook for about two minutes until the shrimp are slightly undercooked. In my, again, in my case, since the shrimp have already been cooked, they're pre-cooked, I won't have as much of a cook time as you. But we're going to reduce this sauce down a little bit. We're going to allow that to reduce a little bit. And then we're going to fold in the rest of the, tree, of, of the cheese. used to always say don't you waste now bit that always sticks with me <laughs> move that around a little bit want to make sure that the cheese is nice and, and, and incorporate it and as you can see the liquid is the reduction this uh, white wine mushroom sauce is helping distribute the cheese evenly. It looks delicious. And the reduction also helps um, keep the cheese from sticking to the bottom of the, of the pan. Try to keep a balance between how quick your shrimp are, are cooking versus the cheese. Because the cheese, if you overcook the cheese, then it's going to get hard. It's going to start to stick. It's going to be very difficult to manage. You can always tell where some shrimp 
are a little drier than others so you want to stir in really good to make sure that this wine sauce is getting that cheese over all of your shrimp right, and when, you, when it's nice and covered well I'm going to go ahead and turn this down just a tad bit All right, folks, so we're almost there. Um, the shrimp have uh, finished cooking and the grits are ready to go. The cheese grits are ready to go. So uh, let's take a look. Now look at those cheese grits. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna spoon in the cheese grits into a bowl and then we're going to place a serving of the shrimp on top of it. Okay, so this is the moment of truth. Uh, we're going to go ahead and plate. So let's go ahead and do it. Come on down. So we're going to spoon a serving of the grits, the cheese grits, into a bowl. It smells so great. Okay. One more good scoop. And then right on top of that, I'm gonna go the shrimp. Oh man, that looks so good. So let's take a bite here. Mmm. Mmm. Oh yeah. So you can taste that wine reduction sauce in here immediately. The cheese and the grits come together perfectly. Mmm, I can see why this is so popular. There's a little bit of kick uh, with the Cajun seasonings, but not too overbearing. Swiss cheese is a perfect complement to the grits. A lot of people, uh, when they have grits, they have their own particular blend of butter or salt you know to their taste but in this dish the butter is not driving the taste what's driving the taste is going to be your cajun seasonings and the uh, white wine mushroom sauce and that drives this dish it's in the driver's seat you can tell those mushrooms were reduced in that wonderful earthy flavor from those white mushrooms come through and it is delicious so from my kitchen to your kitchen i really appreciate you guys visiting us in this recipe don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and visit us as frequently as you like um, we're going to be cooking in here and having a good time and uh, again thanks for visiting us today have a great day and just keep on cooking